Hello friends. This is Codeigniter chat application tutorial series, and in this part, we will discuss how to load chat request notification data on web page, so user can accept chat request. In previous part, we have already seen how one user has search user, and then after from that search result, they have send chat request to particular user. Now once chat request has been sent, then after request receiver user must see that chat request in his notification, so he or she can accept chat request. For this, we have go to chatview.php file, and here in notification panel body class, we have write id attribute is equal to notification area. Under this tag, we will display chat request notification data. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have make load notification function. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, and in first option, we have write url option, and here we have write base url function, with chat controller slash load notification, so it will send request to chat controller load notification method. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method, for send form data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have send action variable with load notification value. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have write JSON so it will receive data in JSON data type. In fifth option, we have write, before send callback function, this function has been called before Ajax request has been sent. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id notification area with HTML method, and under this we have called loading function, it will display loading image. Lastly in Ajax request, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write output variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to row. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write data dot length value is greater than zero. If this condition falls, then it will execute else block of code and here we have write output variable. And here we have append HTML code with message like no data found. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here we have write for loop. And under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero. Count variable value is less than the value of data dot length and count variable value is increment by 1. Under this tag, we want to display user name with profile picture, and we want to display accept button also. So here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like division tag with class is equal to medium column 7 class, and under this, we have write image tag, with source is equal to, data count index dot profile picture, it will display user profile.
After this, for display name, here we have write data count index dot first name, and again we have write data count index dot last name. It will display user first name and last name details. Next, we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like button type is equal to button, name is equal to accept button, and in classes equal to we have write accept button. Here we have write ID attribute is equal to accept button with data count index dot user ID variable value data receiver user ID is equal to data count index dot user ID and data chat request ID is equal to data count index dot chat request ID by click on this button. Receiver user will accept chat request. So, here we have saved data in output variable in HTML format. Now we have write dollar with division tag id notification area with HTML method. And under this we have write output. It will display chat request notification data in HTML format under this division tag. Now we have go to chat controller and here we have make load notification method. This method will receive Ajax request. Under this method we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with input object with post method and under this method we have write action if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with chat model with fetch notification data method and under this we have write session user id variable. This method will return chat request notification data. First we have go to chat model. And here we have make fetch notification data method with dollar receiver id variable as argument. Under this function we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument in first argument we have write receiver id and in second argument we have write dollar receiver id variable below this we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument in first argument we have write chat request status table column name and in second argument we have write pending. This method will add where condition. After this we have write return statement with dollar this with database object with get method and under this we have write chat request table. It will make select query and execute it. Now we have go to output variable is equal to array. Next we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar data variable with num rows method value greater than zero. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block 
we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar data variable with result method as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar user data variable is equal to dollar this with chat model with get user data method. And under this method we have write dollar row variable with sender id table column. This method will return user data. Now we have go to chat model. And here we have make get user data function with dollar user id as argument. Under this function, we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument. In first argument we have write user id, and in second argument we have write dollar user id variable. After this, we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with database object with get method. And under this we have write chat user table. This method will make select query and execute it. Next we have write for each loop. And under condition, we have write dollar data variable with result method as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output first name variable is equal to dollar row first name table column name. After this, we have write dollar output last name variable is equal to dollar row last name table column. For store email address details. Here we have write dollar output email address variable is equal to dollar row with email address table column name. For store profile picture details, here we have write dollar output profile picture variable is equal to dollar row profile picture table column. So this way we have store user data under this dollar output variable. Lastly, we have write return statement with dollar $output variable. This is output of this function. Now we have go to chat controller. And here we have write dollar $output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write user ID. And in value we have write dollar row with sender id table column name. In second key, we have write first name. And in value we have write dollar user data first name variable. In third key, we have write last name. And in value. We have write dollar user data last name variable. In fourth key, we have write profile picture, and in value, we have write dollar user data profile picture variable. And in last key, we have write chat request ID, and in value, we have write dollar row with chat request id table column. So this way, we have stored data in dollar output variable. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function. And under this, we have write dollar output variable. So it will send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have currently login into John Martin account. And this user has sent request to Adonis Martin. So first we have log out from this account by click on log out link. After this, 
Now login into Adonis Martin account. So here we have click on image and page redirect to Google login page. Here we have enter Adonis Martin login details and click on login button. After click on login button, page has been redirect to chat application main page. And here in notification area, we can see John Martin chat request with accept button. If Adonis Martin has accept this chat request, then both user can chat with each other. So this accept chat request we will discuss in next part. In this tutorial, we have seen load chat request notification data on web page with accept button, and in next part, we will discuss how user can accept chat request.